Access to social media and news sites in Russia have been heavily restricted since the country's invasion of Ukraine. Apple has confirmed the removal of the Russian social network Vigontatia from its app store following new British sanctions against organizations and individuals in retaliation for annexation referendums organized by Moscow in four regions of Ukraine. This is not good for Russia, as we'll learn in this video. Make sure you stick with me to the end. Without any further delay, let's get into it. A hard blow for Russia as Apple removes VK from the App Store. Sanctions against Russia continue. After seven months at war against Ukraine, nations against Russian offensives continue to block services developed by the country. This time, it was Apple that blocked the application VK, short for Vikontatia, the most important social network in Russia. While other platforms like Instagram have left the country, Apple did something much worse for Russia. It removed all apps belonging to VK from its App Store. In other words, no users around the world today can download any app from the technological conglomerate behind VK, the Russian version of Facebook. The move was taken after it was determined that the apps were led by developers who had been sanctioned by the UK. On their website, VK commented that their apps are being blocked by Apple, but that they will continue to develop and support iOS apps. Meanwhile, Adam Diema, a spokesman for Apple, confirmed to The Verge that the VK apps have been removed, and in addition, the developer accounts have been closed. These apps are being distributed by developers who are majority owned or controlled by one or more parties sanctioned by the UK government, Diema said in a statement. To comply with these sanctions, Apple has terminated the developer accounts associated with these apps, and the apps cannot be downloaded from any app store, regardless of location. Users who have already downloaded these apps can continue to use them, he added. As noted by The Verge last Monday, the UK government issued a series of 92 new sanctions against Russian oligarchs in response to what is called sham referendums held by Russia in parts of occupied Ukraine. This included sanctions on 23 executives of Gazprom Bank, one of the most important Russian banks, which owns a large stake in VK. At the moment, users who want to download VK apps can do so as long as they have an Android account, as their app store has not taken any actions against VK. Meanwhile, Russia's Ministry of Digital Affairs told state-run media outlet RT that they were investigating reasons for deleting VK apps and developer accounts, stressing the social importance and scale of use of services provided by the company. In other news, let's talk about the next release that Apple prepared after presenting its iPhone 14. Apple would have planned to update some of its equipment, such as the 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro with M2 processors. But given its relevance to the company's catalog, Bloomberg analyst Mark Gurman points out that there may not be a big event like with the iPhone 14. Between now and the end of the year, Apple is expected to introduce new Mac minis with M2 and M2 Pro processors new 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pros with M2 Pros and M2 Max processors, and new 11-inch and 12-inch iPad Pros with M2 Pro and M2 Max processors, the M2 chip and a new Apple TV with A14. These devices are not an important novelty for the company. The most anticipated is the Mac Pro computer with an M2 processor, but I don't think it will be launched until next year. For all these reasons, the analyst considers that there will be no more presentation events, such as that of the iPhone 14 in early September. The novelties of the brand before the start of 2023, on the contrary, would be announced in press releases, updates on the web, and meetings with journalists. Next up, Apple fixes iPhone 14 Pro camera issue. On September 23rd, Apple reported that it released the software update that fixes the camera bug on iPhone 14 Pro when used with social networking applications such as Instagram or TikTok, as well as notifications by copy and paste elements between apps. The iOS OS 16.0.2 update is now available with a series of fixes and security patches that users can now install on their iPhone phones from the iPhone 8 model onwards. One of the bugs it fixes has to do with the iPhone 14 Pro camera. Specifically, it fixes the vibration issue that some users experience when using social media apps. This bug moved the camera and caused images captured with the app's internal camera to appear blurry. It also acts on the notifications that iOS has begun to show when making a a copy and paste between applications, a 
and that in some cases was constantly repeated. And for iPhone X, iPhone XR, and iPhone 11 phones, it fixes a bug that affected the touchscreen, which did not get a response on some inputs. Did you know that the iPhone 14 was released with a flaw in iOS 16? In recent days, Apple confirmed that there is a flaw in iOS 16 that could affect the correct activation of the new iPhone 14 through an open Wi-Fi network. Similarly, the company has assured that it is investigating the causes of the problem. The company with the bitten Apple acknowledged the existence of the flaw by exposing the situation through a communication that was issued internally in the company, and that was exposed by Mac Rumors, a portal specialized in issues related to Apple. In the said communication, it is indicated that said error can impact the activation of devices in open Wi-Fi networks. In the communication that was exposed by the digital medium, it was also indicated that while the origin of the failure is detected, Apple has suggested connecting an iPhone to a Mac or another PC with iTunes in order to successfully carry out the activation process. Similarly, the technology company acknowledged that at the moment, it lacks a measure that helps to officially solve the problem with its operating system. Therefore, a patch to correct the flaw is still being developed. In addition to this, Apple has underlined on its support website that the eventual official update that would fix this problem could also help fix other glitches that iPhone 14 users might experience when trying to activate iMessage and FaceTime. In other news, can Russia lose in the war against Ukraine? The war between Ukraine and Russia enters a new stage. The defending troops have been recovering territories unexpectedly. Can the picture be turned around for Putin and the Kremlin? In February of this year, Russia declared war on Ukraine in what they called a special military operation, which in the end was just a euphemism for an invasion. Vladimir Putin's regime projected a short conflict in which they could win without much resistance. Currently, the picture seems to be complicated for Russia. The war has been going on for more than seven months, and Russian victory still seems a long way off. What's more, the Ukrainian troops, led by President Volodymyr Zelensky turned into a hero, have been recovering territories with the passing of days. Only this week, the Ukrainian president announced that they had recovered eight more towns, to which are added more than 20 that have been reconquered in recent weeks. This situation caused the Russian troops to withdraw from the area and forced them to reorganize to seek a new attack. The Ukrainian reconquest has focused on the towns of Kyrgyzstan and Kharkiv, located in the south and northeast of the country. Although the fighting between the two sides has lasted for weeks, Zelensky's troops have swept away Putin's and taken key areas for Moscow, which has had no choice but to accept the conquest withdrawal of his army from those territories. In addition, Kyiv achieved another important victory in Lehman, something that was confirmed by the Russian military authorities. Igor Konashenkov, the spokesperson for the military of defense of that country, reported this Saturday that due to the risk of being surrounded, the Allied forces have been withdrawn from the town of Lehman to more advantageous positions. But all the moves of the Ukrainian army had a fixed course to reach Donetsk and Logansk, Ukrainian strongholds, and the main zone of influence of Russian troops and pro-Russian paramilitaries. Moscow's response has been to call up reservists to go to war, in a process that has forcibly recruited more than 120,000 people amid protests. Citizens turned soldiers are said to be in the war zone, but their presence has been barely noticed, and they have been unable to prevent conquered territories from reverting to Ukrainian hands. Meanwhile, Russia is experiencing chaos, as people forced to serve in combat try to do everything they can to avoid it, either through demonstrations or fleeing the country. As an example of the improvisation of the Kremlin, different battalions postponed the entry of reservists due to the saturation in the army offices, for which many young people will enter the war on November 1st and not in October, as had been expected at first. Beyond the schedules, it is a clear sign of Putin's despair at his inability to conquer more territories and maintain those that his troops already have. Apparently, the war reached a turning point. It will be a matter of time, and we'll know the options of the Zelensky army. That concludes today's video. If you found the video helpful, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. See you next time.